okay students in first video we came to know the meaning of parts of speech and how many parts of speech are there there are eight parts of speech they are noun pronoun verb adverb adjective preposition conjunction interjection okay now let us see the definition of first parts of speech that is noun okay first i shall read the definition noun is a name of every person place animal bird or thing see here students once again i repeat the definition noun is a name of every person place animal bird or thing now you people also repeat after me noun is a name of every person place animal bird or thing okay now let us understand what is the meaning of noun with the help of these examples okay first example ram is a good boy what is the first example ram is a good boy see here students the first word is ram the first word is ram and it is the name of a person it is a name of a person here in noun definition they told noun is a name of every person means ram will become a noun ram will become a noun because it is a name of a person in that sentence we can see another word that is boy boy is also name of a person boy is also name of a person means it will also become a noun it will also become a noun see here ram and boy both indicates the name of person so they will become a noun they will become a noun okay students now let us move to second example sita came from mysore sita came from mysore see here students sita it is a name of a person mysore it is a name of a place see here in the definition they had given noun indicates the name of person place so sita is a name of a person mysore is a name of a place so both will become a noun both will become a noun sita and mysore are noun in this sentence okay students now let us move to next example lion is the king of jungle lion is the king of jungle see here students lion is the name of animal jungle is the name of place so here according to the rule of noun that it represent the name of person place animal so lion and jungle both will become a noun both will become a noun okay next example students peacock is our national bird peacock is our national bird see here peacock is a name of a bird peacock is a name of a bird so peacock will become a noun okay next example sita has two pens sita has two pens see here students sita is a name of a person pen is a name of a thing so pen and sita will become a noun pen and sita will become a noun see here students noun means it is a naming word it is it is called as a naming word the another definition for noun is it is a naming word see here students if in a sentence if person place animal bird or thing comes means they all become a noun they all become a noun noun means what children it is a name of a person place animal bird or a thing if you want to identify a noun in a sentence means you have to check whether it is a person place animal bird or thing if it comes under person place animal bird or thing 
it will become a noun it will become a noun here in picture also i had given some noun pictures so overall the meaning of noun is it is a naming word it is a naming word i think you people understood till here okay students now we came to know about the noun now let us see second part of speech that is pronoun what is that that is pronoun see here children first let us see the spelling of pronoun see here p r o n o u n c p r o n o u n c r once again noun is repeated here once again noun is repeated means pronoun and noun are same only little bit difference is there what is that difference let us see first let us see the definition of pronoun see our children pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun once again i repeat the definition pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun see our children again and again i am repeating the definitions because this grammar is very important for that reason i am repeating again and again the definitions see here pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun see here pronouns are used in the place of a noun see here the definition of noun is it is a name of every person place animal bird or thing here same pronoun also represent person place animal bird or thing but only one difference is there we are using the pronoun in the place of a noun instead of a noun okay let us understand pronoun with the help of these examples okay first example ramesh goes to market ramesh goes to market he buys a shirt see our children in this sentence ramesh is a noun because it is a name of a person it is name of a person see here ramesh goes to market he buys a shirt who buys a shirt here ramesh buys a shirt who buys a shirt ramesh buys a shirt see here ramesh is a noun we all know ramesh is a noun because it is a name of a person but again we had not repeated ramesh here we, we are not saying ramesh goes to market ramesh buys a shirt instead of ramesh we had used another word that is he that is he this he represent ramesh only he represent ramesh only so it is called a pronoun so it is called a pronoun ramesh is a noun instead of noun we had took another word that is called pronoun that is called pronoun so pronoun is a word which is used instead of a noun both meaning are same noun also represent person name pronoun also represent person name but little bit different okay now let us move to second example sita is living in her house sita is living in her house see here sita is a noun because it is a name of a person here where is sita living she is living in her house where she is living in her house means sita's house here once again we are not taking noun here instead of that noun we had took another word that is her her means pronoun here her means pronoun because we had used her in the place of a noun in the place of a noun so her will become a pronoun her will become a pronoun okay now let us move to next example mohan is a clever boy he always comes first see here students once again i repeat the example mohan is a clever boy he always comes first see here 
Mohan is a name of a person means it will become a noun. Mohan is a name of a person it will become a noun. Here he always comes first. Who always comes first here? Mohan always comes first. Mohan means noun here in this sentence. So here Mohan always comes first. Instead of repeating noun once again in this sentence we have taken another word that is he. He represent Mohan. He represent Mohan only. So instead of Mohan we took he. He means pronoun here. He means pronoun because we had used pronoun in the place of a noun. It also gives the meaning same. Noun means it also represent person. Pronoun here it also representing a person only. But we are using pronoun in the place of a noun. Okay students here I had given some another pronouns. Let us see them. I, me, my, mine, myself, you, your, yours, yourself, he, him, his, himself, she, her, hers, herself, it, itself, we, us, our, ours, ourselves, they, them, their, theirs, themselves. These all are pronouns. Okay children, once again I read, you people repeat after me. I know this is online class, then also grammar is very important. For that reason, I am telling you to repeat after me. Okay, I, me, my, mine, myself, you, your, yours, yourself, he, him, his, himself, she, her, hers, herself, it, itself, we, us, our, ours, ourselves, they, them, their, theirs, themselves. I think you people repeated after me. See here students, overall noun and pronoun are same. Both, they both represent person name, place name, animal, bird or thing. But one difference is there between noun and pronoun that is nouns are used directly to represent person, place, animal, bird or thing. Pronouns are used indirectly to represent person, place, animal, bird or thing means we are using pronoun instead of a noun or in the place of a noun. I think you people understood the meaning of noun pronouns. Okay, now let's Okay, children, till here we came to know about noun pronoun. Noun means it is a name of a person, place, animal, bird or thing. Pronoun means it is used instead of a noun. Okay, now let us see the third part of speech that is verb. Okay, first I shall read the definition. Verb is a word which shows an action. Now you people repeat after me. Verb is a word which shows an action. Okay, students, the meaning of action is verb. The meaning of action is verb. Okay. Now let us understand the verb with the help of examples. First example. He cuts a tree. Once again I repeat the example. He cuts a tree. See here children. What he does here? He cuts a tree. What he does here? He cuts a tree. What is his work here? Cuts. What is his action here? Cuts. So, it will become a verb. It will become a verb. Okay. Now, let us move to second example. Anita writes a letter to her husband. Anita writes a letter to her husband. What she does here? She writes. What is her work here? Writes. What is her work here? Writes. What is her action here? Writes. So, 
rides will become a verb rides will become a verb next ramesh killed a snake ramesh killed a snake what he did here he killed a snake what he did here he killed a snake what is his action here killed what is his work here killed so killed will become a verb killed will become a verb okay students now let us see another example ramu is throwing a ball ramu is throwing a ball what he is doing here he is throwing a ball what is action here throwing what is his work here throwing means throwing will become a verb throwing will become a verb now next example she reads a newspaper she reads a newspaper what she does here she reads a newspaper what is her work here reads what is her action here reads means read will become a verb read will become a verb listen here children whatever work we are doing those all work will become a verb see here for example now what i am doing here i am teaching you people i am teaching grammar here what is my work here teaching what is my work here teaching and what you people are doing now you are learning english grammar you are learning english grammar then what is your work learning then what is your action learning see here whether it may be learning reading writing jumping climbing dancing flying laughing crying whatever work we will do no children those all work those all action comes under verb those all action comes under verb whether you read whether you dance whether you jump whether you cut whether you bite whether you blow all all these are action words all these are action words so action words are called as verbs action word are called as verbs see here verb will show the action of noun or pronoun in a sentence what noun is doing what pronoun is doing in a sentence who will show verb will show who will show verb will show overall the duty of verb is to show the action of noun or pronoun it will show the action of noun or pronoun in a sentence okay students still here we came to know about a noun pronoun verb now let us see adverb okay first i shall read the definition adverb is a word which describes a verb okay now you people repeat after me adverb is a word which describes a verb okay here what is the duty of verb verb it shows an action what it does it shows an action now what adverb will do it describes a verb it describes a verb okay children now let us understand adverb with the help of examples here he runs fast he runs fast here runs is a verb because it shows an action see here how he runs he runs fast how the work is going here children fast how the work is going fast how the action took place here fast so this fast will become an adverb this fast will become an adverb okay now let us move to second example ravi rides slowly ravi rides slowly here rides is a verb rides is a verb how the work is going here slowly how the action is going here slowly slowly means it is an adverb slowly means what children here it is an adverb because 
it is describing about a verb it is describing about a verb okay now next sentence she arrived early she arrived early see her children arrived is a verb arrived is a verb when she arrived early see her early will become an adverb because it is describing about a verb it is describing about a verb okay now next example they went to school late they went to school late here went is the verb it is in v2 form v1 is go v2 is went v3 is gone so here went is a verb see your children when they went to school late see late is describing about a verb means it will become an adverb it will become an adverb okay the soldiers fight bravely the soldiers fight bravely here fight is a verb it shows the action of the soldiers here how the soldiers fight bravely how the action is here bravely so bravely will become an adverb bravely will become an adverb listen here children how the work is going on who will tell adverb will tell who will tell adverb will tell see overall the meaning of adverb is it describes a verb it tells about a verb how the work is going in a sentence whether it may be fast slowly early late or bravely okay students here i had given some another examples of adverbs they are loudly suddenly always twice quietly beautifully neatly yesterday tomorrow happily hungrily loudly these all are adverbs these all are adverbs see the adverb duty is to tell about a verb how is the verb in a sentence how the work is going in a sentence see your children till here we came to know about noun pronoun verb adverb once again i repeat those definitions noun what is the duty of noun here noun it will represent the name of person place animal bird or thing and pronoun it is used in the place of a noun and verb verb will show the action of a noun or pronoun in a sentence next adverb adverb it is the adverb it will tells how the verb is in a sentence means it describes a verb it describes a verb i think you people you people had understood till here remaining four parts of speech let us discuss in another video Okay thank you